My name is Delphine Clavian, and I am the Operations Supervisor for Marauder Electronics. And today, I would like to go over the power outage procedures. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. We are hearing reports of severe thunderstorms causing power outages in some areas and a forecast that these storms will be intensifying as they reach our work location. The lights begin to blink on and off, and then suddenly they go completely out. Local electric utility officials are assessing the situation, and while they do not anticipate long-term power interruptions for our facility, they are offering no guarantees. We are planning an emergency meeting with our data center staff to mitigate any potential risk. What should we discuss to prepare for a possible power outage? Organizations of all shapes and sizes depend on computers and networks in order to function on a daily basis. When a computer server mainframe or network goes out, the organization is hampered in its inability to serve its customers and conduct business normally. In order to mitigate the effects of unplanned outages, most organizations develop procedures that will avoid chaos while restoring service and order. When something interrupts power system operations, emergency procedures are necessary for a speedy resolution of power problems while minimizing the impact on critical data center systems. Such procedures should list step-by-step -step actions to be taken at any given type of emergency. Adequate and regular updated system documentation is essential. Three main components of your documentation that are necessary for a speedy resolution of power problems while minimizing the impact on critical data center systems are determining the downtime of your outage, communicating the situation to the decision makers, and implementing the steps to secure and recover your systems. The first step you should take is to contact the local power company to determine if there is a possibility of long-term outage. This will determine which steps will be necessary in securing your data center environment. Most data centers have both an uninterrupted power supply, usually located in or near the data center, and a backup generator. Each unit can provide power for a fixed amount of time until normal power is restored. If the outage exceeds this time, then steps must be taken quickly to shut down servers and networks to prevent permanent damage to your environment. You must then consider the time left on your backup units to determine if a complete shutdown is necessary and can be implemented efficiently. The extent of the outage and the potential downtime should be communicated to upper management as soon as possible so they can begin making crucial decisions that may involve the complete shutdown of your data center. Part of the recovery plan and shutdown plan is to determine who is authorized to communicate information to the employees and to the public. Once this determination is made, then steps may be taken to shut down the non-critical servers or your entire data center environment. Key players such as your computer operators, your system administrators, and technicians 
are contacted and brief, and end users are notified of a potential disruption in daily operations. You have now assessed the situation and communicated the possible power outage, and a decision has been made to shut down your data center environment. Your shutdown and recovery procedures should list step by step the actions to be taken at each stage of the process. It is important that this information is reviewed and updated on a regular basis. Data centers are dynamic environments and as critical systems and additional infrastructure are added and upgraded, documentation must be maintained. The extent of the recovery, the shutdown and recovery effort is dependent on the extent of the outage and a good recovery plan is essential to a smooth return to operations in both minor and major outages in a timely manner. Determining the estimated downtime is important to upper management in determining what is communicated and the scheduling of resources for, this, for recovery. So in closing, remember regular reviews and updates of contact information, decision makers, and procedures will allow staff to act confidently and without delay in emergency situations in recovering your data center environment. Are there any questions? Thank you.